SFDR stands for Sustainable Finance Disclosure Regulation. The aim is for the European Union to adopt a standard in terms of minimum communication by investment product managers concerning environmental and social aspects without forgetting the basic principles of good government. Most of these new rules will come into force on the 10th of March 2021. This regulation creates two parameters for the consideration of sustainability aspect. Number one, at the level of the managing entity. SFDR requires an explanation as to how sustainability risks are taken into account. Also at the entity level, SFDR asks to explain how the management entity integrates the impacts of its activities on the environment and social aspects. In practice, the entity must not only explain how it integrates its main negative impact or adverse impacts, but also from 2022 onwards, publish data on around 15 indicators defined by the technical standards of the regulation. For example, the greenhouse gas emissions of the issuers in which the management entity invests must be, must be published. Finally, the management entity must update its remuneration policy with a view to integrating ESG performance into the remuneration criteria. The second level of application of SFDR concerns investment products and ESG products in particular. Indeed, the regulation defines two types of sustainable investment products. Any product that is not classified in one of these two categories may not be considered sustainable. The first category, defined in Article 8, refers to products, and I quote, promoting environmental or social characteristics in addition to financial aspects. This cryptic description covers a wide range of products considered to be sustainable and implementing different approaches to selecting issuers deemed to be sustainable. As for the second category of sustainable products, to which Article 9 is dedicated, it is specifically aimed at products with a sustainable investment objective. These are products with a specific environmental and or social objective to which measurable performance indicators are linked. Any product that the management entity would not classify in either of these two articles may therefore not mention sustainable dimensions. This classification is important, amongst other reasons, because products classified under Article 8 or Article 9 are associated with additional transparency obligations and the communication of ESG indicators. Now, will SFDR transform the management landscape in Europe? Sustainable investment counts for a growing share of assets under management in Europe. SFDR is likely to further accelerate this trend as the MIFID rules could limit the offer to investors who have expressed a, pre a preference for sustainable products to Article 8 or 9 products only. As regards making the various sustainable approaches more readable for the investors, it is not clear whether the multiple mandatory disclosures introduced by SFDR, whose imprecise nature has been the subject of much criticism, will help the investors to see more clearly, especially without the help of an SRI label or, or other investment standards in addition to these elements introduced by SFDR.